ओम सहनाववतु सहनोपनक्तु सहवीर्यकवाहै तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तु मावृषावहै ओम शांति 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 अध्याय फाइव मंत्र थर्टीन अनाद्यनकल मध्य विश्व स्रष्टारमनेकूपम विश्वस्यैकमुच्यते उपनिषद कंक्लूड्स अध्याय बाय स्टेटिंग ज्ञान फल रिसल्ट ऑफ द नॉलेज व्हाट डू वी गेट बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग द ब्रह्मन द ज्ञान फल ईज अंडर्स्टुड एट टू स्टेजस् द फस्ट वन ईज एक्सपीरियंसड As soon as you get the jnana, while being alive, it is called jivan mukti. Jivan means while being alive. मुक्ति ही मीन्स मोक्ष मोक्ष वैल बीइंग अलाइ एज सोन एस वन गेट्स ज्ञान एज सोन एस ही अंडरस्टैंड्स हिज ट्रू नेचर he starts enjoying the result of jnana there is no time gap between jnana and its result immediately one starts seeing the result yet he continues to be alive he continues to have the body and conduct his life it is jivan mukti when the jivan mukta one who has got jivan mukti is called jivan mukta jivan mukti is the phenomena one who has attained jivan mukti is called jivan mukta when a jivan mukta dies
unlike an ajnani he is not subject to rebirth he does not get the body any more he is absolutely free from bodies absolutely free from embodiment it is called videha mukti videha mukti videha means no body freedom from body no mantra 13 talks about jeevan mukti and then mantra 14 is about videha mukti we can understand this way 13th mantra talks about jeevan mukti and mantra 14 is about videha mukti. while describing jeevan mukti upanishad takes one more opportunity to describe the atma tattva kalilasya madhye kalila literally means the impenetrable unfathomable in this context it refers to samsara gahana gabhira samsarasya madhye samsara is impenetrable unfathomable it is very difficult to understand the samsara in its entirety <coughs> why this is happening many people wonder why it is happening why somebody is behaving in a particular way most of the things in the samsara is unpredictable even our own behavior is unpredictable what we will think after a few days we ourselves don't know how our mind will behave after a few days we don't know therefore how others will behave it is totally unknown to us totally unfathomable to us therefore this samsara is full of so many wonders so many enigmas 
so many mysteries our own mind is a mystery and likewise the minds of other people the behaviors of other people therefore samsara is called kalila it is a unfathomable because it is a maya karya it is an effect of maya maya is unfathomable as one of the acharyas describes maya aghatita ghatana patiyasi maya maya can make the impossible possible nirupama nitya niramshake pyakhande मयीचिति सर्वकल्पनादिशून्ये घटयति जगदीश जीव भेद अघटित घटना पटीयसी माया दर एक्सप्लेन्स हौ माया मेक्स द इंपासीबल पॉसिबल the atma is niramshaka there is no amsha in maya in atma sorry not in maya there is no amsha in the atma atma is niramshaka free from all divisions and nitya eternal and nirupama it has no parallel nothing can be compared to the atma because it is one without a second <coughs> mai chiti it is chit chaitanya it is mai swarupa sarva vikalpana di shunni and it is free from all vikalpas free from all differences free from all names and forms but then this maya does a magic ghatayati jagadish jeeva bhedam the maya projects the bheda the difference in the form of jagat ishwara and jeeva the maya projects jeeva ishwara bheda jeeva jagat bheda जीव जीव भेद ईश्वर जगत भेद एंड जीव ईश्वर भेद फाइव भेद दे टॉक अबाउट भेद पंचक देर आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ भेद वन भेद ईस जीव ईश्वर भेद एनदर ईस जीव जगत भेद थर्ड भेद जीव जीव भेद 
एंड फोर थिस जाडा जाडा भेद बिटवीन टू जाडा देर इज भेद बिटवीन टू जाडा देर इज भेद एंड देन आई थिंक ईश्वर जडा ईश्वर जगत भेद ईश्वर जगत भेद जीव इस चैतन्य जीव जडा भेद इट इस वन भेद जडा जडा बिटवीन टू जडा देर इज भेद सो पंच भेद फाइव भेद आर् प्रोजेक्टेड बै माया देर्फोर अघटित घटना पटीयसी माया द माया इज अ पटीयसी इट इज एन एक्सपर्ट इन मेकिंग अघटित घटना something which does not exist it makes it possible <coughs> the impossible is made possible by <coughs> maya therefore kalila samsara is kalilas kalila the brahman is there in the midst of the samsara <coughs> all happenings of samsara are witnessed by the atma are illumined by the atma because atma is the substratum atma is the adhisthana of all samsara therefore atma is there in the midst of samsara therefore kalilasya madhye it is in the samsara atma is in the samsara yet it is not samsari it is in and through samsara yet it is not samsari because all problems of samsara are witnessed by the atma all the emotions all the worries everything is witnessed by the atma yet the atma is unaffected why unaffected because anadyanantam it is anadi and ananta atma has no beginning and no end means nityam eternal and being eternal it is free from all modifications therefore it is not affected by the changes in the samsara vishvasya srashtaram the same atma is ishvara being ishvara it is vishvasya srashta 
it is the creator of the universe aneka roopam it takes many forms the same atma takes many forms all nama roopas are projected on the same atma therefore aneka roopam विश्वस्य एकं परिवेष्टितारं आत्मा इस एकं वन विदाउट ए सेकंड बिकॉज विश्वस्य परिवेष्टितारं इट परवेट्स एवरीथिंग एस द एसेंस ऑफ हिम as the substance of everything the atma pervades everything therefore nothing is different from the atma nothing is exclusive of the atma therefore atma is free from vastu parichheda free from limitation in terms of being a given object that is why ekam vishvasya parivestitaram explains the word ekam since there is no vastu parichheda atma is one without a second because the second is ruled out with the ruling out of vastu parichheda devam he is a deva yotana devaha the effulgent one the consciousness ज्ञात्वा सर्वपाशैः मुच्यते हैविंग अंडरस्टुड दिस देवा विद द नॉलेज ऑफ द देवा विद द नॉलेज ऑफ द आत्मा ए ज्ञानी बिकम्स फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल पाशा ऑल बॉन्डेज the word pasha includes avidya kama karma avidya ignorance kama desire and karma punya papa when all these are gone the person is no more bound to samsara despite being alive despite conducting his life he is not bound to samsara he is free from the sense of lacking free from the sense of insecurity free from sorrow free from emotional breakdown such a person is called jeevan mukta next mantra bhavagrahya manidakhyam भावा शिव भावा शिव 
This mantra reveals Videha Mukti as the Phala. Te Jahustanu, they give up body, means they don't have another body. They do not get another body like Ajnani. Means no more janma, no more birth with the understanding of the Atma. Again, Upanishad takes an opportunity to describe the Atma Tattva. Bhavagrahyam the Atma is a Bhavagrahyam. Bhava refers to Vishuddha Antahkarana, a pure mind. The Atma should be understood with the pure mind. <coughs> Bhavena. Vishuddhantah karanina grihyate iti bhavagrahya. Atma is understood by a pure mind. As long as there is impurity in the mind, the Atma cannot be understood. Just by attending Vedanta class, one cannot, cannot understand Atma. Nayam Atma pravachane na labhyaha na medhaya na bahuna shute na mundako panishat says Nayam Atma pravachane na labhyaha just by attending pravachana and also doing pravachana. <laughs> One cannot understand the Atma. Sometimes the Pravachana can be counterproductive. Most often this Pravachana can be counterproductive. I have realized this in my own experience. Sometimes Vedanta can lead to divorce. I am not surprised. If you are surprised, it is not my problem. I am not surprised. <laughs> because instead of giving jnana, Vedanta can harden up one's ahankar, one's ego. The person is ajnan. But the Ajnani starts thinking, I have become Brahman. <laughs> now I have become Brahman. After studying Veda for six months, one year, etc. With the Ahankara, he has become Brahman. It is very dangerous. Sometimes it happens with our own audience also. Yesterday, I happened to speak to a lady. She is a housewife. She had her own complaint, Swamiji. She started telling me, I have left my 
കരിയർ സാക്രിഫൈസ്ഡ് മൈ കരിയർ ഫോർ ദ സേക്ക് ഓഫ് മൈ ഹസ്ബൻഡ് ആൻഡ് മൈ ഫാമിലി ഷി ടോൾഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ റൈറ്റ് തിങ് ടു ഡു അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു മീ ഓർ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ ശാസ്ത്ര എ വുമൻ ഷുഡ് സാക്രിഫൈസ് ഹർ കരിയർ ഫോർ ദ സേക്ക് ഓഫ് ഹർ ഫാമിലി ഹർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹർ സ്വധർമ്മ എ വുമൻ ഷുഡ് നോട്ട് സാക്രിഫൈസ് ഹർ ഫാമിലി ഫോർ ദ സേക്ക് ഓഫ് ഹർ കരിയർ ഷി ഷുഡ് നോട്ട് പെർസ്യൂ ഹർ കരിയർ അറ്റ് ദ കോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഹർ ഫാമിലി so it is a right thing to do i told you have done your sadharma you have taken care of your husband cooked for your husband she is a highly educated woman in fact many housewives i come across are highly educated highly qualified they may be post graduates graduates post graduates and the phd so many things even many phd housewives are there here in around us so she she said i have sacrificed and i am bringing up my children she told all those things then what is the problem the problem is despite all these my husband is not nice with me he repeatedly uses harsh words and abuses me verbally he says you are not fit to be a wife and he does not speak nicely with the others also so this was her complaint and unfortunately he happens to be a student of vedanta <coughs> then she asked doesn't vedanta teach how to be how to behave with one's wife etc or how to behave with one's parents etc this was her question so she was pointing out at my own shortcomings <laughs> it is like parent teacher meeting <laughs> <laughs> then i was speechless what can i tell then i told her all these things are told how to speak bhagavad gita says anudvega karam vakyam satyam priyahitam chayat do not use harsh word to anybody and the same is applicable to one's wife also one's parents also so bhagavad gita tells certain things in brief but then there are other books where these things are elaborately discussed so in order to you know fill the gap in my own lacking i thought i should discuss this portion of mahanirvana tantra where the shastra itself explicitly says how a grihastha should behave i am reading from mahanirvana tantram ashtamah ullasah 
श्री सदाशिव उवाच शिव टेल्स पार्वती दिस इज उपदेश फ्रॉम शिवा टू पार्वती इन महानिर्वाण तंत्र गार्थ्यम प्रथम धर्म सर्वजन्मना फॉर ऑल ह्यूमन बींग्स गार्थ्य इज द प्रथम धर्म गार्थ्य इज द प्राइमरी धर्म द लाइफ ऑफ गृहस्थ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट because all other dharmas are based on the life of a grihastha even sanyasi's life is based on a life of grihastha even brahmachari's life is based on the life of a grihastha if the grihastha does not feed sanyasi also cannot live brahmachari also cannot live therefore गार्थ्यम प्रथम धर्म गार्थ्य इज द मोस्ट प्राइमरी एंड प्रॉमिनेंट धर्म ब्रह्मनिष्ठो गृहस्थ सहमज्ञानपरायण यद्यत्म प्रकुर्वीत तद्रह्मणि समर्पयेत ए गृहस्थ शुड बिकम ब्रह्मज्ञान पारायण ही शुड ऑल्सो मेक एफर्ट टू गेट ब्रह्मज्ञान इवन द लाइफ ऑफ ए गृहस्थ इज नॉट मेंट फॉर एंजॉयमेंट इट इज मेंट फॉर चित्तशुद्धि ए गृहस्थ शुड वर्क फॉर चित्तशुद्धि यद्यत कर्म प्रकुर्वीत तद ब्रह्मणि समर्पयेत therefore all the karma that he does he should offer to brahman offer to ishvara a grahastha should do all the karma with the ishvara arpana buddhi na mithya bhashanam kuryat na cha shatyam samacharet devata thi devata tithi poojasu grahastho nirato bhavet न मिथ्या भाषण कुरियात वन शुड नॉट टेल लाइस ए गृहस्थ शुड नॉट टेल लाइस इट्स अबाउट गृहस्थ ए सन्यासी शुड टेल लाइस और नॉट दैट से डिफरेंट ए गृहस्थ शुड नॉट टेल लाइस न च साख्यम समाचरेत ही शुड नॉट be cunning he should not be crooked he should not manipulate others devata tithi puja su grahastho nirato bhavet a grahastha should be committed to devata poojanam and atithi poojan worshiping the devatas and worshiping the atithis मातरम पितरम चैव साक्षा प्रत्यक्ष देवता मत्वा गृही निषेवेत सदा सर्व प्रयत्नता ए गृहस्थ शुड लुक अपॉन हिस् मदर एंड फादर एस प्रत्यक्ष देवता एस द विसिबल देवतास एंड सदा सर्व प्रयत्नता निषेवेत a grahastha should do seva to his mother and father with all effort shavayed mrudulam vaani sarvada priyam acharet pitro rajna anusari syat सत्पुत्र कुल पावन शावेद मृदुलाम वाणी ही शुड स्पीक सॉफ्ट वर्ड्स टू हिस् पेरेंट्स नॉट आई नो बेटर ही शुड स्पीक नईस वर्ड्स टू हिस् पेरेंट्स 
even if he thinks he knows better than the parents he should speak nice words he should not get into a fight i know better my way is highway pitro rajnanusari syat he should follow the ajna of his parents father and mother he should do what they say or whatever he does should be should have their blessings so then grahastho gopayet daran vidyam abhyasayet sutan पोषयेत् स्वजनान् बन्धून् एष धर्मस् सनातनः गृहस्थो गोपयेत् दारान् ए गृहस्थ शुड प्रोटेक्ट हिज वाइफ विद्याम अभ्यासयेत् सुतान् ही शुड मेक हिज चिल्ड्रन लर्न एजुकेशन गेट एजुकेशन एजुकेशन इंक्लूड्स द नॉलेज ऑफ द शास्त्र नॉलेज ऑफ द धर्म आल्सो नॉट जस्ट सेक्युलर ज्ञान पोषयेत् स्वजनान् बन्धून् एंड ही शुड सपोर्ट ऑल हिज रिलेटिव्स एष धर्म सनातनः दिस इज सनातन धर्म सी दिस इज सनातन धर्म सनातन धर्म हैज टू बी अंडरस्टूड प्रॉपर इवन गृहस्थ धर्म ई सनातन धर्म सो so, न भार्यां ताडयेत् क्वापि एसी इट इज टोल्ड मात्रवत् पालयेत् सदा नत्यजेत् घोरकष्टेपि यदि साध्वी पतिव्रता न भार्यां ताडयेत् क्वापि वन शुड नॉट वन शुड नॉट बीट और abuse one's wife one should not hurt one's wife physical as well as verbal abuse should not be done matravat palayet sada one should take care of one's wife also just like one takes care of one's mother means with the respect if the wife says something he says i know better who are you to suggest me <laughs> so she has sacrificed everything for the husband's sake and compelled to say all these things otherwise i don't speak all these things because i myself don't know the life of a grahastha i have not led that kind of life i am a sanyasi right after brahmacharya so yet i am forced to say these things because otherwise uh, it can be counterproductive if i teach you are brahman you are brahman it is not going to work without these basic values aham brahmasmi is never going to work so i am forced to say all these things so matravat palayet sada nyat nat yajet ghora kashteti one should not give up one's wife even in great difficulty even in most challenging circumstances one should not give up one's wife it is a grihasthas dharma yadi sadhvi pativrata if the wife is a pativrata wife has sacrificed everything for his sake committed to him then he should not give up the wife even in most difficult circumstances dhane navasa sa premna shraddhaya mrudu bhashanai 
सततम तोषयेदारान ना प्रिय क्वचिदाचरेत सो ए गृहस्थ शुड कीप हिस् वाइफ हैप्पी हाउ धने न विद मनी he has to give some money to her also to buy vegetables etc i don't know you know but vegetables we will buy she will buy jewelry i don't know it's up to you vasa sa cloth प्रेम ना ही हैज टू शो लव टू हिस् वाइफ यू नो बेटर ऑल दिस थिंग्स आई आई डोंट नो आई एम सी इट इज माय डिफिकल्टी स्टिल स्टिल आई एम कंपेल टू सी ऑल दिस थिंग्स प्रेम ना ही हैज टू शो लव टू हिस् वाइफ हाउ यू नो बेटर श्रद्धया विद श्रद्धा मीन्स विद ट्रस्ट ए गृहस्थ शुड ट्रस्ट हिस् वाइफ सो आई ट्रस्ट यू ही हेज टू से आई लव यू आई ट्रस्ट यू सी आई एम आई एम गिविंग यू एक्सापल मृदु भाषण he should speak nice words pleasing words to his wife and keep her happy so if a, a wife is not kept happy what happens either it ends up in a divorce the wife starts thinking of divorce nowadays divorce is easy earlier it was not easy before independence divorce was difficult now anybody can file for divorce online so yeah even <laughs> marriages happen online so so, so perhaps uh, you know the boy is sitting in in uh, america girl is sitting in australia australia so how marriage happens uh, so they said the marriage can be done online maybe some otp comes <laughs> otp is a you know uh, yeah, password for agreement yes sir for marriage so then otp marriage happens online and children can also perhaps happen online amazon will deliver <laughs> they have it in the labs nowadays <laughs> artificial so mrudu bhashanai with the soft words so satatam toshaye daran a husband should constantly keep the wife happy constantly it's not easy <laughs> if one day something goes wrong she may yes. uh, create problem if you so, search it this in google google itself is searching yeah. how to keep the wife happy yeah. <laughs> so satatam koshaye dara so it is uh, the dharma of a grahastha to keep the wife happy so uh, so either she may go nowadays divorce happen or if divorce does not happen she is somehow compelled to stay together then she gets into some psychological issues it is also possible many psychological issues can be the consequences of improper you know uh, unhealthy relationship the family ties are not good so husband does not uh, show love to his wife husband husband does not validate his wife all these can lead to problem and uh, once the problem starts then 
everybody has to suffer the whole family has to suffer so such problem can be avoided that is why all these things are told so see we should not take anything for granted don't take anything for granted no relation should be taken for granted na priyam kwachidachare one should not do anything that is uh, apriya that is not liked by one's wife so even if she disagrees in some point try to take her in confidence make her understand why you are doing it educate her with respect to your point of view build consensus in a family one should build consensus na priyam kwachidacharet so all these things are told mm-hmm. then there is dharma for women also that we will see some other time <laughs> so anyway so bhavagrahyam so in order to get chitta shuddhi all these preparations have to be done anidakhyam the brahman is anidakhyam nida means sharira body brahman is free from body asharira free from both sthula sharira sukshma sharira as well as karana sharira bhava bhava karam brahman as ishwara is responsible for srishti and laya bhava means srishti abhava means laya bhava bhava karam he causes srishti and laya shivam shivam means shuddham avidya tatkarya vinirmuktam ityarthah he is free from avidya as well as its effects means free from samsar asamsarinam ityarthah kala sargakaram he is responsible for 16 kalas shodasha kalaha there are 16 kalas enumerated in prashnopanishad they are prana shraddha aakasha vayu agni jala prithivi indriya manas anna virya tapah mantrah karma loka and naam these are the 16 kalas so they are told in prash sixth prashna of prashnopanishad sixth prashna fourth mantra the brahman ishwara creates 16 kalas 16 kala stands for entire sharira the sharira consists of 16 kalas it's one way of explaining the sharira he is the creator of the 16 kalas and when there is a jnana all the 16 kalas resolves in resolve into the atma a jnani does not have the 16 kalas 
प्रिया 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 प्राण श्रद्धा आकाश वायु ज्योति ही अग्नि ज्योति अग्नि ज्योति ही जला वाटर पृथ्वी अर्थ इंद्रिया मनः मनस माइंड अन्नम फुड वीर्यम तपः मंत्राः कर्म लोक एंड नाम दीस आर द सिक्सटीन कलास कलासर्गक देव ये विदु दोसु नो दोसु अंडर्स्टैंड दिस ते तनु जहु दे गिव अप द बॉडी मीन्स दे डोंट हैव अनदर बॉडी दे डोंट टेक अप अनदर बॉडी दे बिकम विदेह मुक्त This body will continue to exist until there is prarabdha karma. But once the prarabdha karma is exhausted, they don't have any more body. They merge with the Brahman. They exist just as Brahman. It is called videha mukti. पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओं